Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to learn how to insert data into database using a repository pattern. Let's start with simple one. Here we have our department option. When I click on our department, we get our department form. Here we have to fill department name. We should fill department name and we should click on submit. This form is handled by department controller and add action method. This is our department controller and here we have add action method. In our last video, we have implemented client side and server side validation. Today, we are going to see how to insert data into database. If you are following the series, you would know we have implemented repository pattern in this application. Here we have repositories folder and we have separate repositories for department and employee. Here we have I department repository and we have these method signatures and this department repository implements this I department repository. If you look at this department repository, we have this add async method. We are going to use this method to insert data into database. The repository pattern is a commonly used architectural pattern in ASP.NET Core MVC and other software development frameworks. It provides an abstraction layer between the application's data access code and the rest of the application. In our application, we are using SQL Server as database and Entity Framework Core as ORM. This layer, this repository layer interacts with database using Entity Framework Core. Without repository pattern, we would write our database access logic inside this controller. As we have this abstraction layer, we are not going to write database logic here. We have all the database related logic inside this department repository. And we have I department repository interface. This is our abstraction layer. What we are going to do, we are going to use this I department repository when we want to insert data through the database. This is our program.cs file. Look at these two lines. We have registered I department repository and I employee repository with built in dependency injection container. As we have registered these services with their concrete implementation with dependency injection container, we just have to inject these dependencies and the framework will give us the instances of these services. To inject I department service into this department controller, we are going to add a constructor. Now we are going to inject the dependency. I will add a private field. Now I will inject the dependency. Next, I will assign this to this private field. Now I will remove this line. Using this private field, I will call add async method and I will pass this model. This add async is a synchronous method. So I'll come back to department controller and I will use await keyword to call this method. Now we should change the return type of this I action result. It should be async task. After inserting data to the database, I will redirect to index view. See, we are getting error because there is a small problem. This add async method takes parameter which is of the type department, but we are passing department view model. Let's fix this issue. I'll open I department repository. I will modify the parameter type to department view model. I will change the same thing here. We have our department. I'll change this one. Using this view model, I will construct an entity of type department. We are done with the changes. Let's verify if we are able to add data to the database. I will create new department. I'll say HR. I'll click on submit. We are getting blank because we haven't designed index view yet. Now we have to verify this in database. This is our app settings.json file. Here we have defined connection string. If you notice, you will understand we are connecting to local database and database name is this one. See, this is our database. Here we have departments table and we have, and we have created new record HR. Next, we are going to modify employee controller. Now we are going to insert employee data to the database. This is employee controller. Let's add a private field and a constructor. Here we are injecting a employee repository. Next, we are going to call add async method. We are calling this add async method. We are using this await keyword as this is asynchronous method. Next, we are going to change the return type. We are going to make it async 
then task next this is our i employee repository interface i will change the signature i will change this to employee view model this is our employee repository class as we have changed signature we are getting error i'll change this to employee view model using this view model data i'll create object of the type employee i will change i will pass this new employee to add async method before testing our changes i want to change this hard coded value here we are binding data to the select list but we are using hard coded value now i want to get this data from database and i want to bind this to the view i will add new method to i employee repository method will get all the departments i will implement that newly added method this will get all the department from database now instead of these hard coded values i will call that method now i will modify the method signature it should be async task okay now let's test our changes this is our add employee form see look at this drop down now we are we are able to populate data from database in our database we have only one record that is hr we are able to bind that data to this drop down list now i'll fill out all the details i have filled all the details i will click on submit we are able to successfully insert data into database we are getting blank view because we haven't designed index view yet let's verify this in the database see we are able to successfully insert data into database this is how we can insert data using repository pattern that's it for today's session see you soon in the next video thank you